we continue on with chapter 4.1 with the rounding. And rounding, again, is just a form of estimation. That's all it, it's known. It's probably the best known estimation technique. The purpose of rounding is to replace complicated numbers with simpler numbers. Here again, right, the objective is to t obtain an estimate. And so we name all these methods, and we have a very specific way of rounding, but it is just a way so that we can come up with some estimated value, right, um, for some uh, computation. And so here are some um, methods real quick to think about. Rounding up, rounding down, round a five up, round to the nearest even, round to compatible numbers. Again, all these terms um, mean something. It's not about memorizing it, but it's, again, about understanding, not memorizing the names of them, but just understanding the process. And again, the purpose of rounding is just to estimate. Round the numbers 473 up to the nearest 10 place. 10's here, up to the nearest 10 place. So that becomes 480 because we're rounding up. Round down to the nearest 10 place. And so this would be 470. Again, just estimates. And sometimes we run around up overestimate. And some we just want to estimate to a closest number. Round the number 470 up, up to the nearest 10 place. And again, that would be 480 because... Now notice when you think about it. So it's a round up. But this is that classic problem of here's 475 in the middle, here is 470, here's 480. And we also have that uh, rule you learn in elementary school that if it's a 5 or greater round up, it's just a standard convention that that's how we would round up. Even though 475 is right in the middle, we just have a convention, right, a standard way of doing this. And so we choose to round up to overestimate instead of underestimating. Round to the nearest even. And so in this case here, you're going to say 480 plus 540. Um, the nearest even, um, those are easy to calculate. If you want to go even, you could also do 476 and 546. Not that that's easier to estimate. But again, um, you then end up with 1020 on this here. Again, it's just about trying to make the problem easier to, to calculate. And so you have all these other examples. I have the solutions here. You can also read the book, which I recommend also, um, in terms of how we estimate these, right? Rounding down to the nearest hundred place. Rounding to the ne nearest even hundreds place. Okay. Um, and you can see that just following the instructions round uh, by rounding uh, a five up to the nearest ten place. So there's your 580, 400, and so forth. Um, another way is to round to compatible numbers, which is going to numbers that make it easier for you to estimate. 57 times 98 is the same as 57 times 100. So you're using your skills to kind of, and so there could be multiple solutions based on what's compatible to you. So keep that in mind in any of the rounding. Something that's compatible to you may be your preference. 256 divided by 33 could be 240 divided by 30, 280 divided by, they're just estimates. That's all we're trying to do, right? Rounding is a most useful and flexible technique. It's important to realize the main reasons to round are to simplify calculations to obtain reasonable answers, okay? So just keep that in, keep that in mind of, again, the purpose of why, why we, um, round and estimate and then we end on this one here um, using a calculator so that try to estimate what that meant answer would be right and then um, then use a calculator to to um, to check your answers here that you end up getting okay so that's it for chapter 4.1